and welcome back everybody. Well, not welcome back, but welcome to the first of hopefully several vlogs that I'm going to start doing. And uh, we just came into something nice, and I'm doing a little bit of a scenery shot here. But we came into something nice recently, I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, so let's do a little peek around here. Show you guys just a little of the view I have. Try not to show too many houses or anything. Um, but I thought I'd share with you guys something we recently acquired. And, uh, yeah, we've been working for some time. And, uh, step over a big log. Yeah, you, can, you guys can see this huge log I just had to step over. It's actually fairly big. Um, but yeah, we've been working for some time to acquire it. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this nice little van that we've recently acquired. Hopefully the color comes through decently. I know it's shiny a little. Hopefully we won't video too many license plates, <laughs> or any for that matter. But yeah, we recently got this, um, and it's a really nice vehicle. It's a 2005 uh, Town & Country minivan, and um, yeah, we've, we've been looking for some time now to try to get a new vehicle, and I wanted to get something newer, but as the salesman explained it to me, he slowly convinced me, which is probably his job, but he's good at his job. So, he walks up and he says, well, do you mind if it's fully loaded? I was like, no, I don't mind if it's fully loaded. He says, well, do you mind if it's got the, you know, the automatic doors on both sides? We'll get the other one to open over there. I said, nope. I said, that's pretty nice. He says, well, do you mind if it's got the automatic hatchback on it? He pops open this hatchback, and I'm like, well, that's pretty nice. And I'm like, well, but a lot of the newer vans come with that. But being that it's a 2005, it wasn't custom at this time. And um, sorry about that little jerk. I had a fly on my hand or something. Uh, but we're going to take a little view around. There is quite a bit of stuff in it, so try to ignore all that. Uh, we had to take the stuff out of the old vehicle, plus I had to get some stuff uh, from our old place um, that we had some storage in. So yeah, we're going to take a little bit of a peek around here. And one of the first things that he started showing me is these seats here. And all the seats in the vehicle, and you can see my speaker there from when I used to DJ, but uh, all the seats in the vehicle go completely flat, which is really, really cool. Um, as you can see here, there's a little latch and another one there. And basically, you pull the first one, seat goes flat, pull that second one, grab it from the back, you flip it over, and it goes right down into the floor, which is really awesome. The fact that it goes into the floor and you don't actually have to remove the seat and take it out. So that's really cool. Um, it's got these little buttons here that they can use from the inside to make the door close. Um, one of the things that was really cool is we'll take and we'll push this little button right here. You can watch the door close right on my arm and boom it opens right back up with hardly any pounds of pressure. And that's a safety feature that's in this which I thought was very very cool especially since we're going to be transporting my grandmother and, and uh, the entire family in this. I don't want people getting hurt so that was pretty cool. So we'll close the back up here. And we'll close the doors. Oh, nope, that other one isn't closing. There we go. Took a second or two. And so we're going to take a peek inside here. So as we get in over here, you can see some of the new features. First of all, if we zoom in just a little bit, and I'll try to do this easily, just barely under 66,000 miles. I thought that was awesome. Very cool feature. Well, not feature, but very cool uh, thing to help convince me. As so we view around here, you can see that it's got like a cherry wood paneling. Uh, it's really, really nice looking. It looks shows up a little bit more red in the video, but it's actually more of a, a brownish color. So yeah. I'll give you a look through everything here and then I'll explain it. First we've got this little sensor up in the center here that you can see. Basically that thing turns around and it senses my body temperature when I get into the vehicle. And if I'm extra hot or extra cold, it'll go down here and it'll adjust the, the air conditioning or the heating, whichever it needs to, to make my body temperature equal to whatever I have that temperature set to the last time I was in the vehicle, which is pretty cool. And we'll set the keys down here for a minute so we don't keep making a bunch of noise. Um, 
it's got uh, built-in uh, heating for the seats for the passenger and for the driver which is really nice uh, down here it's a built-in CD player you know of course one of the nice features was built-in navigation which you can see a little nav button right there and that's really really nice um, and mainly that's because um, it was just yet another feature of the vehicle and it's the, the whole GPS bit. It, tell, it talks to you where you need to go, put in your destination, and, and it's got the full works. So that was real nice. Um, also to go along with it, down there you can see a built-in DVD player. Um, also you can put your CDs in there and that's a six disc changer to go along with the regular thing. So it's a, it also has a CD changer built into it. Um, as you can see here, it's got air conditioning uh, where you can set it for the driver and for the passenger and for the people in the back. So it's all different, which is real nice there too. Um, if you see the little hookups down there, once we get... Now, the only thing I have to put, get put in because I guess either the previous owner or something, they took out the, the DVD monitor. But it's fairly simple to hook into. Uh, the jacks for it in the, are in the ceiling for this. And it's just a matter of plugging it in and putting it in there. So um, basically I just have to buy one and get it plugged in, which is not a, really expensive. I already looked into it a little bit. Uh, but you can actually plug like your Xbox or PlayStation or whatever into it and literally play your uh, game systems right off of it too, which is really nice. If you look down here, you can see these separate little plugs here. The one with the key on it means that it's a power plug and it only works when the car is running. The other one is the little battery symbol and of course that means it runs straight off the battery and the car doesn't have to be running. So that's a pretty neat feature there too. Um, up here you can see several little buttons and we're going to kind of cycle through them real quick. I'm going to start the car up so you guys can see the different little things that I'm talking about. And we'll have to turn the air down because it's probably going to be pretty loud. Okay, so we'll get back over here and you can see that it tells me if the doors are open and different things like that. And then also if we start pushing some of these buttons, uh, right there, it tells us how many miles there is till the car is empty. If we push it again, it'll swap over to the temperature and what direction we're going. Um, it'll also tell us how many miles we've gone this trip as usual. Um, how long it's been since I last fueled up, uh, how many miles till the next service, um, my miles per gallon, which right now I've been doing a lot of in-town driving, but um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty nice, it's a nice feature. Um, another nice thing is over here, if we take a look back, there's these buttons down here on, on the uh, door here and one of them will actually remember settings for each person of what the seat is which is really kind of cool um, and I'll go into that here more in a second but there's these other switches right here and if I push that switch you can see right back there it makes the window go out so you can actually adjust those and put them out without actually having to get out of the vehicle and everything so that's pretty cool um, we'll come back around here and now to explain that other button that was down there if you look over here, there's another switch on the side here next to my keys. And what it what does actually down there is it adjusts the foot pedals up and down to where, um, you know, if there's a shorter person that gets in the vehicle, they can adjust the pedals as they need it and everything else. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a view of this, show it off to you. I hope you guys enjoy this little bit and piece of uh, my personal life. And um, yeah, so we'll take a quick spin around the car here. Do, 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 do. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in it right now, but we might take a little bit of better picture later on. Um, but there's all this stuff up in the in the top too, as you can see. And that's basically where you can add all kinds of attachments and special stuff. The controls for the passenger conditioning and everything is back there too. So yeah, that's really nice. Uh, nice setup for it and everything it's got cruise control and if you guys look I think right here you guys can actually see some buttons on the back of the steering wheel which I thought was pretty cool um, and basically what that does is that allows you to adjust the 
the what track you're on and the volume of the music and everything without having to reach over here every time and mess with it. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature too. So I think I've shown off everything. Let's shut the vehicle off. And I've actually done this recording a couple different times. I'm not used to recording with a camcorder. So yeah, hopefully I got everything right this time. Because if I didn't, I'm just going to be doing massive editing to the video. <coughs> so. Okay, so now that we're outside here, I probably clipped that out so I wouldn't show my house to you. But uh, let's lock it back up. Take one last view of the car here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, enjoyed seeing our new vehicle here. And yeah, don't forget to uh, comment down below on what you think of our car. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed watching the video so that I know that uh, you guys like these. Because if, if I don't get much feedback, I'll think that you don't like them or whatever. And I may not do a whole lot of them. Uh, but if I get feedback from you guys, it always helps me. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll do, do a little zoom in here. These tires are real, real nice. I don't know how well they show up, but they're nice, brand new and shiny. So that's a really neat feature. I, I, I Well, not a feature, but a, a neat thing that came with the car was some nice, brand new tires. So yeah, uh, like I said, don't forget to subscribe and all that other good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.